Hello and welcome to Mystery Box Monday, where we have a box full of random iPhone 4 and 4S's. We're going to pick a random number and pull out that iPhone, power it on, and see if we have anything interesting. So far we have gone through four iPhones. The ones facing this direction have already been selected. So that leaves us with all of these to get through. So let's get a random number generator and see what number we get. Pick a number between 1 and 18. All right, it is 18. So that means this is our iPhone because we always go from left to right. So here it is. This is a white model. I can't tell yet if it's an iPhone 4 or 4S because of the antenna lines. Let's see if it has any power. It does not. So I'm going to plug it in and once I get some charge, we will come back. All right, here is the iPhone. I'm actually recording this a few days later because I got busy, but this thing is charged up. And here we are, iOS 6 on an iPhone 4S. Whoa, no, let's get away from that. Here we go, 6.1.3. And this is actually an iPhone 4S that I have basically filled up. You can see there is less than one gigabyte left of space and this is a Sprint model, it's only eight gigabytes. But let's go back to the home screen. And you can see I've got messages, I've got emails on here. Um, this is like my personal iPhone 4S. The, the cool part is all these games. And I've actually decided I'm gonna do a separate video kind of testing each of these games to see how well they perform. But just to give you guys an overview, we've got YouTube, Spotify, Snapchat, um, Got some more games in the folder here. All these, I'm gonna I'm gonna test all these in a new video. I think I'm gonna upload that. I'm gonna have it scheduled for like 15 minutes after this video goes live. So you guys can uh, watch them back to back if you want. But this is a really clean iPhone 4. Even though it's only an eight gigabyte model, it is still pretty neat to have one of these. And if you haven't seen my iOS 6 downgrade video, if you have an iPhone 4S or an iPad second generation, you can actually downgrade these to iOS 6 fairly easily. All you really need is a Windows 10 computer, an internet connection, and a 30 pin cable to plug into the laptop. I will link that video down below for you guys to check out. So as I'm sure most of you know, the iPhone 4S was released in 2011 and it brought Siri to the iPhone. iOS 5 also introduced iCloud, which added a plethora of features to devices that received the update. Now this model has iOS 6 on it, which is very similar to iOS 5 hardly any changes between the two versions. It is really just a refinement of iOS 5. The iPhone 4S was the last iPhone to feature the 30 pin cable, it was also the last iPhone to have the headphone jack at the top, and the last iPhone for a while to feature an all glass back. We would not see that return until the iPhone 8 was launched quite some time later. The 4S shipped with iOS 5 and would go on to get the iOS 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this thing got quite a few updates and the dual core A5 chip inside of this thing does a pretty good job, although in iOS 9 it is fairly slow in comparison. How about a game of Flappy Birds? All right, not bad. If you've ever played this, you know how frustrating it is. My high score there was 44. 
Anyway, that's been a look at the iPhone 4S on this episode of Mystery Box Monday. Again, I'm going to post a video showcasing the games on this thing, and we'll see how many of them actually load and how well they run. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.